Chichester City Centre on Tuesday afternoon. Outside Waterstones Bookshop. And the cathedral. I'm looking at the cathedral again from a nice spot underneath the trees. on the Cathedral Green. And looking around in the cloisters. A few more than three kings here. And back outside again. An entrance here from the cloisters. Thomas Curtis, Canon of a Referential of this St. Church. Richard of Chichester. Well, there you go. Inside the nave of the wonderful Cathedral of Chichester. And this wonderful model in the Sailor's Chapel of the Sussex. The ship's bell there on the wall behind the altar. The 
chapel of St. Thomas and St. Edmund. the organ case. The choir altar. And turning around, looking west. the Shrine of St. Richard. And the wonderful Lady Chapel. The wonderful roof painting. The altar of the Lady Chapel, the great brass lectern, and looking down to Roman mosaic floor. and a rather lovely little chamber organ. St. Richard's Walk. What a wonderful view. Looking up there at the Cathedral Tower. Looking the other way, the deanery here is very, very impressive. Having a cup of tea in the cloisters. Very attractive little parish church. A nice place to sit, very quiet for a little while. Nishka has been chasing the ducks down at the duck pond. This beautiful medieval church interior. A very ancient font. Gorgeous baptistry window. Sweet little chamber organ. Sadly locked. And a wonderful altar. And looking up there to the glorious east window. And looking westward, you can see the ringing gallery. Bosham. This road is covered by the water at high tide, so uh, I think we've got about three hours. Yes. What, down there? Yeah. No, 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 that way. The little 
little tiny ones. Yeah. Yeah. But these are more modern. Right here. I do like the no fill road sign there on the edge of the marsh. Just had a lovely meal in this pub, which is uh, rather better than the, uh, the blue anchor in Somerset. You should be looking at your presence felt. And this is the pub where we've just eaten. <laughs> and through the trees, the steeple there of Bosham Parish Church. Dedicated to the Holy and Blessed Trinity. People doesn't go with the rest of the church, does it? Really? I'm just walking down there to the uh, to the water. A rather impressive uh, headquarters of Bottom Sailing Club. And another gorgeous house there looking out over the estuary. And looking back at the church from the other side. Catherine sitting outside with the dogs. And a very interesting memorial here on this bench to one of the pioneers of broadcasting across the British Empire. Yes, well done! <laughs> and just looking down between the pub and the house across the road as the cyclists are coming out of the pub and there's the Land Rover. But the tide's not coming in just yet. Tide's not quite reached her yet. Looking around there, this is the old shore road and signs what every uh, few yards warning you that it gets covered by the tide. And I'm just uh, a mile up the road looking back there at Bosham. See the church there and the pub where we've just had a meal and looking across there the, uh, uh, the marsh at low tide with the accompaniment of the hounds in the background. We're camping for a few days here in uh, uh, West Ashling, just outside Chichester in West Sussex. Uh, the, we've been here since Monday, it's now Thursday morning. The Friday's not the, the weather's not been, uh, not been very wonderful, but uh, at least it has been uh, dry for most of the time. We're looking now at a general view of the site, that's not our caravan there, um, on the left, uh, on the right hand side there you can see the, uh, um, the loo blocks and uh, let's just spin around in a second and look at our uh, caravan. And here we are, here's our setup. This is the, uh, the Bailey Senator caravan, which is the caravan we're taking out for the first time. And uh, the awning, the little port awning that I bought for the older caravan, does fit on here, as you can see, and it actually looks rather better. And you can see there the washing hanging out on the, uh, on the line, and in the corner there, you can just see the, uh, see the Land Rover. 
and uh, there's a wonderful field here on the caravan site where the dogs are able to uh, to run around whenever they like and absolutely fantastic it's a lovely site and we are looking now at the uh, the field which uh, uh, he's got a couple of paths cut across it, as we can see uh, in front of us there, for the dogs to uh, to run, uh, to keep them out of the long grass. Uh, but otherwise, it's left just as an open field. You can hear probably in the background a little bit of noise, and that's from uh, uh, the A3, I think, which is running not very far away from us. But uh, it's pretty quiet and very peaceful. Lovely place to be. And now looking across at our caravan from the other corner of the site, uh, you can see the back of the caravan there with the, uh, the water containers. Um, it does look very good, I think. Very happy with it. This afternoon we've come to Arundel and uh, looked around the Roman Catholic Cathedral. This beautiful building. And looking back there at the cathedral, difficult to get it all into one shot, but it is the most wonderful building. And just across the road is the Anglican Church, 14th century St. Nicholas Church, up against the walls of Arundel Priory. Don't worry. The historic part of the city with the ancient priory of St. Wilfrid, rather spoiled by the rows of motor cars. And there at the bottom of the hill, Arundel Castle. And despite the modern road signs there, and the traffic is a wonderful medieval castle. From down on the Mill Road, you get a wonderful view of the castle. And here, the main entrance with uh, crowds of students milling around outside, but uh, unfortunately, it closed half an hour ago at four o'clock. And despite the sign advertising open, sadly met by this. It's about seven minutes past nine at night on the Thursday evening and we've driven down for the final night after dinner down to Bosham and we're pulled in here on the Old Shore Road which is a road which is covered by the tide. Uh, we saw a few photographs of it taken last night. We've come down because it's about sunset and uh, I'm just going to pan around very gently and we can see here the beginning of the marshland. And some lovely houses there and uh, <coughs> you can see there all of this land which is actually covered by the sea and is going to be covered by the sea in a very very short time and coming round again over the marshland lovely houses there across there on the far side one of those uh, Across there is the old national school. Now we're looking down towards the sea and right in front of us is a causeway. You can see there the two withies marking either side of it and that runs right across the uh, right across the water and it is possible I guess to uh, to drive across there and it reminds me of the uh, the wade in the uh, uh, some of the Arthur Ransom novels and you can just imagine there the uh, the swallows walking across there as the tide is coming in but there aren't any uh, marker posts 
apart from those two at the very end here, um, which they could actually take shelter on, take refuge on, when the tide comes in. So I hope we're not going to get caught. And looking round again. There, coming into view, is the town of Bosham. And there on the far left of the picture is the parish church where we stopped last night. Absolutely lovely. And it's a bit cloudy, so I don't know that there's going to be too much of a wonderful sunset, but there we are. I'm just looking around now again, past the church and the old uh, landing jetties which are there. I don't know how stable and safe they are these days to use. And looking down there, you can see a lot of boats moored up. And coming out here into the middle of the uh, the path, the causeway across the river. There's a little bridge here in the middle that I'm standing on and uh, the water underneath there is about two or three inches deep and perhaps three foot wide. Very, very little trickle of water running down through, um, right down through the centre of these marshlands. It looks quite muddy. I'm not going to go out there and try actually see how muddy it is. But we can look back there and you can see the Land Rover uh, pulled, pulled up there at the end. and some absolutely gorgeous cottages there, right down uh, on the edge of the water. And you can see here the edge of that causeway, which comes out and uh, I wouldn't like to walk along it. It doesn't look very safe anymore. And coming round again, very gently. See the mud there, the wide expanses of the mud. And looking down towards the harbour, and you can see there the uh, the ships all aground at the moment, which which will be afloat um, in three or four hours' time at high tide. I don't think I'm going to come down here at uh, uh, at uh, one o'clock in the morning to see the high tide. Pity, I'd like to have. And there again, from the middle of the water here, is the tower of Bosham Parish Church. And just zooming in there, you can see the uh, the tower of the church. There, you can just see the pub, the uh, uh, the Blue Anchor, where we uh, where we ate last night. But it is much much darker now. Just uh, just a couple of hours later, I guess, than we were here yesterday. But it didn't half make a difference. And a ship there, right up on the on the uh, on the mud. Um, great fun, actually. I would have thought wading out to uh, to get to one's boat if one wants to in the uh, in the low tide period. But uh, I suppose they have to use a tender to get out there when it's actually afloat. Nice row of cottages right at the end of the causeway here. And zooming right out, you can actually get some idea of the scale here of the marshland and uh, how that mud looks. Wouldn't like to fall in it. Although perhaps it's not quite as bad as at Weston or at Burnham. And just looking along the uh, the wooden jetty, it's marked here a private jetty, um, and it doesn't actually from here look as uh, look as rickety as it does from further away. Uh, so perhaps it is possible to actually land a ship there, but. Uh, uh, be quite interesting. There's only a handrail 
as you can see on one side and it does go out and in quite abruptly so I'm not going to actually walk out there and try it. And now it's the, uh, the night starts to draw in and uh, Catherine's been walking the dogs and coming back towards the Land Rover. and perhaps a fitting end to a lovely day. Here down at uh, Bosham in West Sussex, just outside Chichester.